Hi everybody. Welcome back to News TV. As you all know, so far, the novel coronavirus, 2019 and COVID, originating from Wuhan, China, has now spread to 27 countries and territories worldwide, with 11,987 confirmed cases and 259 deaths as of February 1, 2020. On January 31, the first two novel coronavirus cases in the UK, the first two cases in Russia, and the first case in Sweden and in Spain have been reported. Canada reported its fourth case. On January 30, 2020, the novel coronavirus total case count surpassed that for SARS, which affected 8,096 people worldwide. In the United States, there are six cases confirmed by the CDC, one in Arizona, two in California, one in Washington State, and two in Illinois. On January 30th CDC confirmed the first US case of human-to-human -human transmission. Wuhan, the city where the virus originated, is the largest city in central China, with a population of over 11 million people. The city, on January 23rd, shut down transport links. Following Wuhan lockdown, the city of Wanggang was also placed in quarantine, and the city of Ezhu closed its train stations. This means that 18 million people have been placed in isolation. The WHO said cutting off a city as large as Wuhan is unprecedented in public health history and praised China for its incredible commitment to isolate the virus and minimize the spread to other countries. Germany, Japan, Vietnam, and the United States have reported cases in patients who didn't personally visit China, but contracted the virus from someone else who had visited Wuhan, China. These cases of human-to-human -human transmission are the most worrisome, according to the WHO. How dangerous is the virus? A pathogen's harmfulness is determined by the combination of its transmission rate and its case fatality rate, so we'll examine these two parameters below. How contagious is the Wuhan coronavirus? The attack rate or transmissibility of a virus is indicated by its reproductive number, rho, pronounced R0 or R0, which represents the average number of people who will catch the disease from a single infected person. A more recent study is indicating a rho as high as 4.08. This value substantially exceeds whose estimate of between 1.4 and 2.5 and is also higher than recent estimates between 3.6 and 4.0 and between 2.24 to 3.58. Preliminary studies had estimated Rho to be between 1.5 and 3.5. Based on these numbers, on average every case of the novel coronavirus would create 3 to 4 new cases. An outbreak with a reproductive number of below 1 will gradually disappear. For comparison, the row for the common flu is 1.3 and for SARS it was 2.0. Fatality rate, case fatality ratio or CFR, of the Wuhan coronavirus. The novel coronavirus case fatality rate is currently estimated at around 2%, according to the WHO on January 29, 2020. A prior estimate had put that number at 3%, between 2% and 4%. Fatality rate can change as a virus can mutate, according to epidemiologists. Once the province Hubei, where the epicenter Wuhan is situated, is removed from the calculation, the national, China, mortality rate drops to 0.3%. Within the Hubei province, the mortality rate is about 1% when excluding the city of Wuhan, where it is 5.5%. For comparison, 
the case fatality rate with seasonal flu is less than 0.01%, one death per every 10,000 cases. Mortality rate for SARS was 10%, and for MERS 34%. Incubation period, how long it takes for symptoms to appear. Symptoms of the novel coronavirus, 2019 and COVID, may appear in as few as 2 days or as long as 14, estimated ranges vary from 2 to 10 days, 2 to 14 days, and 10 to 14 days, during which the virus is contagious but the patient does not display any symptom, asymptomatic transmission. Age and Conditions of Coronavirus Cases According to the WHO Situation Report No. 7 issued on January 27, the median age of cases detected outside of China is 45 years, ranging from 2 to 74 years. 71% of cases were male. The WHO, in its Mythbusters FAQs, addresses the question, does the new coronavirus affect older people, or are younger people also susceptible, by answering that, people of all ages can be infected by the new coronavirus, 2019 and COVID. Older people, and people with pre-existing medical conditions, such as asthma, diabetes, heart disease, appear to be more vulnerable to becoming severely ill with the virus. Serious Cases of 30-Year-Olds Critical demographic data that seems to suggest that the novel coronavirus can be dangerous for people of any age, can be derived from what has been reported about two patients in France who are now being treated in intensive care in Paris, it is a young couple aged 30 and 31 years old, both Chinese citizens from Wuhan who were asymptomatic when they arrived in Paris on January 18. The China National Health Commission reported the details of the first 17 deaths up to 24 p.m. January 22, 2020. The deaths included 13 males and 4 females. The median age of the deaths was 75, range 48 to 89, Every year an estimated 290,000 to 650,000 people die in the world due to complications from seasonal influenza, flu, viruses. This figure corresponds to 795 to 1,781 deaths per day due to the seasonal flu. SARS, November 2002 to July 2003 was a coronavirus that originated from Beijing, China, spread to 29 countries, with 8,096 people infected and 774 deaths, with a fatality rate of 9.6%. Considering that SARS ended up infecting 5,237 people in mainland China, Wuhan coronavirus surpassed SARS on January 29, 2020 when Chinese officials confirmed 5,974 cases of the novel coronavirus, 2019 and COVID. One day later, on January 30, 2020 the novel coronavirus cases surpassed even the 8,096 cases worldwide representing the final SARS count in 2003. MERS, 2012 killed 858 people out of the 2,494 infected, with a fatality rate of 34.4%.